Hey Wanderers and welcome back to the, the Wander Gamer, whatever we are, network thing, plays Monster Prom. Again, I'm Zach. Yay, and I'm Mandy. Nope, there's only two of us. Full game. I like the snakes. They're cute. They are cute. I like the short ones, but we're going to play the normal one. Yes. Share controller. Sounds good. All right, we already did this. Skip uh, it. Get to the quiz. Afraid, blah, blah. Okay, so Zach, this time, you can go with... Name. The name of Shade again, I think, or... Yeah, Sh Shade's going around, too. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. No, we're going Shades. Nice. We're cooler this time. All right. Do you want... Uh, let, I feel like Shelly should stay with Scott. Okay. Shelly can stay with Scott. You want Lady Yeah, let's, Flame, let's go with uh, uh, Fiery Passion Lady here. Um... <sighs> Should we go with uh Aubrey? Haha. <laughs> uh, let's go with a uh, spark. I like that. It's weird not having a keyboard in Qwerty. Yeah, right. It really takes me a second. Spark. That's a cute name. Not <laughs> no, not Spark Nine. Spark Nine. Light it up. Light it up. All right, Monster Prom. Three weeks were left. We can either date Miranda, Damien, Scott, Liam, Polly, or Vera. Vera, Vera. All right, who are we going to date? Polly. We're, we're going for it this time. I All need, right. I need bold and fun, right? Uh, Yes, bold and fun. Okay, we're gaming the, the, this more this time. Yeah, we, we did a little bit of research. Oh. Um, uh, so, okay, if you could put a curse on your worst enemy, what would it do? Uh, we, we read all these last time. I'm going for the panther one this time. Okay. Right, this is the panther? I think so. Which one would you like? Okay. Um. <laughs> I love the panther in the top left, though. Yeah, hey, honey. The effectiveness of curse, I prefer to take care of my exposing. Oh, uh, let's go with that top one. Okay. I was so bold. You were so smart. Which AI object do you think would make the best girlfriend or boyfriend, provided you went criminally insane? Okay, so this is a new question. Uh, so either a pillow size or a human sized pillow, pillow sized human, a human sized pillow depicting a character created by myself. As a matter of fact, I have all of the needed paperwork, and I'm only waiting for the conservative, narrow minded laws of our country to finally step forward into waifu and husbando territory. As it was clearly intended by God. <laughs> An ATM. Sugar baby life, here I come. Or a dildo. I think I know. <laughs> I'm going for uh, a certain person, and I know what she would pick. I feel like I'm going to have to do a dildo, too. That's good, yeah. So fun. Okay. You find a genie in a bottle. You can ask for whatever you want. What do you ask for? Before asking... For anything, you try to negotiate up to three standard wishes. Uh, infinite confetti. His friendship. Him not to him to not be so cliched. A genie and wishes so mainstream. A rainbow that you can eat. I don't ask for anything. I drink the dream genie from the bottle. I can grant my own wishes. Uh, I think that last one's Polly, right? Ooh. The infinite confetti also seems like it. Yeah, I don't. I definitely feel like Liam is probably the so mainstream. His friendship feels like Scott. Um, I mean, or like it could be it, Infinite Confetti was my first leaning. Or I don't ask for anything. I feel like that's probably Vera. Well, Vera is oh. probably either the before asking for anything, negotiate, or grant their own wishes. Or I could also see Damien being the grant my own wishes. Okay. I'll go infinite confetti and hopefully. Party. Uh, I'm going to go from drink the genie then. Hey! Nice! We are on a roll. I think I have like five hearts of Polly now. Uh, right. I am I am at the bold I need to be, I think, already. No, I need one more bold. Uh, okay. Bold is bathrooms. Fun is outdoors. I think I saw if you hover over the like. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, you can't? Okay, because I had seen someone was showing. Oh, oh. here we go. There. Oh, that tells us. Uh, uh, nice. Okay, well, I'm going to go bold first. Go for it. 
No, actually, let's go outdoors. I think it'll be fun to have an outdoor scene. Okay. Half hour rave, it goes crazy! Woo! You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there's like 300 people. Someone summons demons from the nightmare dimensions, the consequences might distort the factor of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. I gave you plus two fun. Nice. Later, you, Polly, and Damien are practicing batting, which is stealing bats and hiding them in people's lockers. Nice. <laughs> But all that well-intentioned fun and games is interrupted by a blinding flash of light. Oh, what's up? There you are. Exactly the monsters we wanted to see. Well, needed, not wanted. Hey! Ugh, these guys again? They never want to do anything fun. We're not trying to ruin your fun. We're just trying to save your world. Univertica is planning an attack. Ugh, ugh, so boring, ugh. ugh. Why am I even, why am I subjecting my ears to this bullshit? I'm going back to hell. Uh, yes, that's what we needed. Our partner on this mission, Rabaru, <laughs> sure, died right after discovering Univertica's weakness. We need someone to speak to her spirit. Not it. Not it, damn it, I almost said it at the same time. Huh? But I'm allergic to help. That's Scott. I'm allergic to help. This is a serious health issue. Mm -hmm. But I'm prettier, so I shouldn't have to do anything ever. Guys, seriously, the world will end if you don't help us. We don't care, but one of you needs to step up. Whatever. Just let the world end already. Then I won't have to take my midterms. Mm. I'm with Polly on this one. Midterms suck. Helping people sucks. Good luck with whatever you said your problem was. Well, the problem is the world ending. You're pretty sure nobody wants that. But you really don't want to help either. It's time to impress one of your classmates by forcing the other one to go help. Nice. Okay. Uh... What's the matter, Damien? Are you scared? Are you a spicy little red baby? Yeah, that's, You're welcome, that's the one you want. I can just tell you right now because you want Damien to go down. Uh, you know, Polly, saving the world is a great way to get free drugs and alcohol. Yo, Damien, you owe me one. Gah! I'm not a spicy red baby. I'm a spicy red adult. Yeah, you are. I'm just busy, okay? I got way too much to do without worrying about whatever lame thing you're talking about. Always the, same. the end of the world! What we are talking about is the end of the world! What is wrong with you people? Damn, well... Damn, well, if it's the end of the world, I can't really beat the shit out of people or set things on fire. You win this round, Polly. He still doesn't look thrilled about it, but he bounces down to the underworld to search for the Coven's lost ally. After a while, he returns. Found, sorry, found me. Found, okay. found your pal. She says Univertica is allergic to penicillin. Hope that helps, because I took a full 20 minutes out of my day. Penicillin, of course. We should have known. Thank you for this, Damien. You have saved the world. Truly, you are a hero. Bye. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Bounce off so I can get back to ratting butts on this butt. Rating ra butts. <laughs> It's been a day. <laughs> I get rating butts on this butt rating app I just downloaded. Good, good, Polly. Truly, you are the worst. Here's to hoping the universe stays safe a while longer so we don't have to deal with you all again. In a flash of light, the coven is gone, leaving you, Damien, and Polly in the peace to not worry about all that stupid world saving awesome, stuff. Boo. She called me Boo. Yeah. Hey, Shade. Thanks so much for covering for me. That was pretty spicy yourself. There it is. Hell yeah, it was. The important thing is you impressed Polly, but the world didn't end, which is cool too. You gained plus two boldness and plus one charm. I am good to go on the boldness. Cool, I need some boldness. Send me to the bathroom. To the bathrooms. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. It's funny because you're the fire lady now. Yeah, by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero shit, but you gain plus two boldness. Suddenly, a chill runs through you as if the very fabric of reality is in danger. Scanning your surroundings, you quickly discover the reason for the feeling. Polly and Damien are together, and they're bored. Hands off my girl. That's okay. I don't want her. Damien. 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 So you're just going to have to do all the voices in this. <laughs> Honestly, it's better than doing just having to just do Scott, because that really hurt my voice. 
great, though. I, oh, I, I like I am so to... sad I'm not going for Scott, but I feel like we need a change. What? I must have fallen asleep for a second because nothing is on fire. Mm. I do like Damien's aesthetic. Like, the nerdy part of me thinks it looks really cool. He's fun. I know, right? Nothing, nothing crazy happened in the last 47 minutes, and I'm dead. I mean, I am literally actually dead, but I'm also dead because of how bored I am. What if we just... Ah, oh, fuck, I'm so bored, I can't even think of something to do and to not be bored. No! Help us! Somebody, please, cause a sexy problem! Uh... <laughs> Break the seven seals and raise <laughs> Crackle of Thaw, the world fucker. Or send in the party goblins. I think it's that top one. I think that one's... That one sounds like... Party that, goblins would be Polly. Is po it? Yeah. If we get... Uh, okay. I that's gotta be I I, I you're right I'm it's just like the she's a party girl breaking the seven seals and releasing yeah, the world fucker sound I, I was taking um, fucker more literally mm, okay yeah if it was more literal I think it would be Polly I think it's like destruction though yeah. which feels very Damien yeah no that, you're right yeah. I just got like I was taking that last one literally and then I didn't even care about the no I get you okay you get yeah it? yep seven seals Using an accursed sword someone was stupid enough to give you, you shatter the wards separating the world fucker from our own world. He emerges onto the mortal plane with a noise like a million throats being slit at once, wreathed in bloody vapor. Oh. These are the end times that the ancient poets forlornly prophesize. Excuse me. This realm will rot like the maggot-riddled rid corpse it is. Yeah, you got it. Oh, sick. It's the world fucker. Come to fuck the world. Yes. Yes. Hey, world fucker. Want a party? Kralik Thul speaks with a voice like a snake eating itself. He says, Hell yes. Yeah. You all head off to party all night, leaving a trail of flaming wreckage in your wake. The world is doomed, but at least it's not boring. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Woo. We are on the right track. We're hitting it off today. Yes. Though, well, you didn't need the help. Oh, did uh, you have to choose an animal. Oh, animal. Penguin. Uh, tiger. How pl player order is decided by how plausible it is that the selected animal has no soul at all. Start debating now. Tigers Ooh. because they eat people. Yeah. Penguins yeah. Are if you wanted to make like a funny case for penguins, I'd agree with you. But yeah. Yeah. I'll go. I, I was going the serious route. This I'll time. take it. You get to go first. Woo. Oh, you're ding, probably going to get to go oh, at lunch. lunch. You're probably going to get to, like... Uh, Damien sometimes oh. hangs out with Scott, though. Oh, sweet. Oh, he's with Vera. Oh, Vera's a new one for us. Uh, yes. I, think you get to, I think you get to voice her. Uh, I think so, yeah. Well, I have I have Polly, Scott, and Damien. Yeah, I got her. You find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food, as usual. Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table. Also, some organs. Oh, not bad. Okay. Hmm. Uh, it's like too close to the witch to do that. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Not bad. I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. I think it's different enough. Yeah. A, de a dejected swamp creature slumps over to the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. Nice. And this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. But I agree. The money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces are their own reward. Still, I'm always looking to improve, improve in efficiency. <laughs> Have you tried developing business contacts in hell? Your victims will be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those, you need a priest. A priest? You know how my family feels about priests. <laughs> Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's got to be a better way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. And make money at the same time. I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. Oh. All right, set the building on fire and charge an exit fee. Trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy, then film it, blackmail them in bulk. Blackmail sounds like Vera. I think that it set the building on fire. Yeah! I'm surprised you didn't think of that, Damien. Damien? Where'd he go? Hey, I'm back. I was just setting the building on fire real quick. Did I miss anything? Nice. Well, what about the rest of the plan? 
there was a plan. Oh, you poor sweet child. Not anymore, Damien. Do um, Damien, immune to fire as he is, continues doing exactly as he, as he was doing before the fire, beating people up for their money and organs. All right. Oh man, I got Polly and Scott. Huh? Controller's acting a little wonky. Scott and Polly are sitting together, laughing their metaphorical asses off. Do Damien, do Damien. <laughs> Grr, I'm Damien. Look at my stupid red face. I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to re revere a toxic version of masculinity, which has alienated me from my own true emotions. <laughs> you sound exactly like him. Okay, okay, okay. You do Vera. I'm Vera. I'm very smart and my hair is pretty. <laughs> and all my friends look up to me because I am a strong, independent woman. Aww. Scott, I'm, sh I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I'm not <laughs> Scott. I'm Vera. You can tell because I just I said my name just now. Oh, my sweet <laughs> angel child. I miss you. <laughs> okay. What about you, Shades? Got any good impressions? Just one, but it's a real doozy. Mm. <laughs> I think I have to pick the top one, right? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Woof, woof, it's me, Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. Or look at me, I'm Polly. Look at me go. I think Polly would make fun of Scott. I think Polly would make fun of Scott. Yeah. Yes. yes. I know you're doing an impression of me because you said my name, but... Oh my god, this sounds exactly like him! <laughs> it does? Yeah, remember that time we took impressions class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah, I guess I did say woof woof, it's me, Scott. A dog, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. But I didn't yell like that! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two absolutely, do <laughs> absolutely identical whale robes in front of me and I can't tell the difference. Polly insists on smoo a smooching con nice. that's in terms of who the real Scott is. You end up winning in more ways than one. Boom! Nice. I am hitting it off. All right, everyone choose a celebrity. Peyton Manning. Uh, Tara Reed. Player order is decided based on how likely it would be for the selected celebrity to lead a group during a zombie apocalypse. Oh, you've got that. I think so. Yeah. Evening. I'm going to the bathroom. I uh, well, my boldness is, I think, where I need it to be. Should I just go? How? Like, I don't know. Should I try to go for a secret ending? Um, I don't know. Do you know what the secret ending is for her? I know one vaguely. Um. Well, would it hurt you to go to the uh, either? I feel like it would help you either way to go to the bathroom. Um, if that's where the secret ending. No, I need to buy. Well, I need to buy. I, I need to buy something that's expensive, so like I could go get money. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Well, it's only my fun. My fun needs to be higher. My boldness needs to be just fine. Uh, let's go to the library. It can't hurt to go there once, right? Yeah. That day, you spent some time on li library's PCs managing your start kicker. You designed lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain plus 100,000 money. But almost everything goes to cover the costs, and you will only keep plus two money. You're hanging out with two of the baddest asses you know, generally being bad and asses, when suddenly, a masked villain bursts in and threatens you. I've been waiting a long time for this confrontation, he says, following you, hunting you, waiting for the perfect moment. And now prepare to meet your doom and pay for all that you've done to me. Oh, holy shit, I've never done anything wrong to anyone ever. I have no idea who this could be. I've done so many things wrong to so many people, I have no idea which one you could be. Wonder no more, says the masked villain and rips off his mask. Oh my god, of course, it's that guy, the one from, you know, I mean, I totally know this guy, right, Damien? Never seen this dude before. He must have had a beef with Shades. I have a beef with all of you, tiny fools. It is I, Udvernica Jr. Oh. Uh, I, I think I'd, I can't do my se my secret ending. Of course. Oh, of course. It's Univernica Jr. No clue. You collaborated with your three best friends to destroy my father. 
Scott, Miro, and Miranda? No way, he means Liam, Coach, and Alfred. I mean faith, hope, and joy. <clears throat> I have no I have no idea who the fuck those people are. Yeah, I literally never heard of them. Puny mortals. They are classmates of yours who formed a coven. Oh, the coven? They have names? Yeah, I definitely always think of them pretty much as one entity. Oh, yeah, right? That one time when they talked to us and made their dead friend Rabaro get the secret to killing some lame villain and it turned out he was allergic to penicillin, right? What was that dude's name? Univertica, and I am Univertica Jr., and you will now pay. Wow, this has a storyline now. But oh, cool. Man. I'm also like reading so much for the scene. Yeah, let me jump in with the narrator. Cool. Seems like you've <coughs> really pissed this bad guy off. Luckily, you watch fiction. You know how this shit goes down. Thinking quickly, you take this opportunity to reveal your real plan. You were only befriending the coven to betray them. Wahaha. Recognize the symbol on his armor as that of your father. You and Univertica Jr. are siblings. Uh, okay, so. So, I, reading up on this, the way this works is, like, each of these is, like, listed to a trait. And you have to pick whatever trait of yours is higher. Oh, interesting. So, like, if I get it right, Polly will like me more. If I get it wrong, she'll like me less. Yeah. So, I feel like the top one's smart. Uh, yeah. I would say the bottom one's either creativity or charm. Well, either your your smarts and boldness are higher right now, which makes sense for the top one. Right. I, I don't think either of them is fun. So. No, I don't think so. Oh, it's charm. Just befriending the coven to betray them, hey? Univertic or oh, Junior chuckles. A likely story. That's what they all say. Quick, if you're really not best friends with the coven, what's their favorite color? Black, duh. Wrong! It was a trick question. Faith's favorite color is green, Joy's favorite color is purple, and Hope's favorite color is blue. They're individuals, people. How hard is that to grasp? I don't know. Man, they they really do, do read as one person to me. One person I can't help but wait shades to betray, obviously. I knew it. I knew you were in league with the enemy. You were far too desperate to get in on our plan. Um, as far as you can recall, you desperately tried to avoid helping them, and way too eager to help. And now we find you in league with Univertica Jr. Prepare to be attacked. What is happening? The coven begins readying themselves for a magical attack. Univertica Jr. Att cackles man maniacally. You think I will believe this paltry display? This fight is clearly staged, so I will believe Shades is not in league with the coven. Prepare to be attacked. Oh, jeez. At this point, Univertica Jr. draws his sword and draws his sword and begins attacking you as you dodge spells and hexes from the coven. Jeez! Polly and Damien, being the great friends they are, cackle hysterically as you're attacked from all sides and then bolt. You survive ultimately when all four of them are distracted by the sound of the ice cream wizard truck. Ice cream wizard! Turns out people on all sides of the fight of good versus evil like frozen treats. They also like beating you up and embarrassing you in front of your friends and making you lose. Minus two smarts and minus one boldness. Shoot. Let's do this. Sorry about that, man. That is what it is. Um. Let's see. I think I need fun and boldness. So let's go outside. Uh, that's the shop right now. Though. Oh, you're right. Uh, you could go to the shop and see if you want to get I don't really want anything from the shop. I'll go back to the bathrooms. Gonna, get real bold. Yeah. Uh, that day you uh, skip class read. again. Uh, you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! The gra graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall! A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain plus two boldness. Nice. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. I'll go outside in the morning if the shop's not there. Of course, no trip to the bathroom would be complete without running into a group of your classmates doing something stupid. Nice. Oh, Damien, you're the worst. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, she means that in a bad way. Did you really have to set fire to our entire deck of cards? 
I don't know, did a deck of cards have to keep dealing me shitty hands? Not necessarily, that's not how probability works. Well then I guess I didn't necessarily need to set it on fire. But since when has that stopped me? Well you know you've all- Well now you've all stopped us from playing poker. Now what are you gonna bet on? Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Yes, and I derive almost an almost sexual pleasure from taking your money. So what's the new game? Ooh, ooh, you know, the perfect poker alternative. All right, shoot. Russian roulette or the stock market? Thank Russian you. roulette? I don't think it would be the stock market. Oh, oh, yeah, why didn't I think of that? That used to be my favorite game before I died. Wait. All in. Holly pulls an antique revolver out of nowhere, spins the cylinder, points it at her head, and pulls the trigger five times until it fires. The bull goes through her intangible head, bounces off the ceiling, and it beds itself in the mirror right next to all the other bullet holes. I guess Vera and I split the money? Dang, I always lose at Russian roulette. Let's play again. I'll go first. How you ever died is a mystery to me. Hey, yeah, me too. You decide to get out of the bathroom to avoid any further ricochet. From the gunshots echoing behind you, it seems your friends are all delighted with your suggestion. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Good. Well, and that's where we'll end this one as soon as we figure out who's going on a weekend trip. It's Woo! Mandy. All right. Until next time, everyone, keep wandering. Bye. Hey, Wanders, and thanks for listening to the Wandering Gamer Network Plays Monster Park. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, check out the link in the description below. We have several actual play podcasts, including City of Mist, our homebrew space adventure Outlaws Wanted, and many more. Until next time, keep wandering.